Um, to help me present the second recipient, uh, please welcome one of our two newest members to the full-time faculty, clinical professor David Clausen. Okay, you first, sir. Um, I'm going to keep my comments short and sweet, two words that also describe our next recipient. <laughs> um, besides being a wonderful student and uh, writer, or she wouldn't be here, I think I can safely say she will feel more guilt about receiving this award than anyone else can. <laughs> Correct? Correct? I'm just going to add a little thing, just because I promised her I would embarrass her, and so I don't want to break, I don't like to, I like to keep my word. So, I'm just going to add this little thing. Calm down out there, I know you're out there. Um, you know what amazed me from the minute I met the student was how many, how much guts she has, that she writes deeply personal stories that she hasn't entirely figured out yet. And because she has had, had the luck to be in amazing rooms with amazing colleagues, she's figuring that out. Um, this person, I knew I'd be a little longer than you. Um, <laughs> this person is, her middle name is Service. I can't go through all of the things that she's done for the screenwriting department, the School of Film and TV, the university, and the community, so I won't. But I will say that with the twin gifts of compassion and empathy, she's going to do great, whatever she does. And the first thing she's going to do is have to decide whether she's going to Ecuador to do service or go to New York and teach. I voted New York because she'll be closer to us, and I, I'm afraid of insects, so I vote New York. Um, would you like to introduce her? I think it'd be nice. Samantha Ring. Thank you for sitting in Desmond with me sophomore year at 2 o'clock in the morning and writing pages on pages on pages that made no sense. Um, thanks for being my friends when I'm stressed and want to throw everything away and say I'm never going to write ever ever again. So thank you. Um, I ought to thank Matt Mills too for all the times I'm knocking on your office door saying, what do I do? I need an internship. I need this. Like, how do I figure this out? What should I do next year? And also just thank you for the inspiration to follow my dreams and figure out what that is little by little, so thanks. David freaking Clausen. <laughs> I don't even know where to go there. Um, thank you for all the ice cream sandwiches. Thank you for the impromptu lunch dates. Thank you for listening to my love life problems, my family drama, my friend drama, for writing, okay, this is a true David Clausen story, for writing on a full page I am so bored <laughs> across the entire page because it's really things like that that helped me improve so much and for like... <laughs> 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 it's true, it's true. <laughs> yeah, Cameron and I would slave over pages like all night, bring them in and have written across the whole thing, I am bored. <laughs> but it was, you know, those were the things that really made me feel like, you know what, I'm gonna show him this can be better. and. Senior year writing this year, being able to write my like thesis film in that class was the most growth I've ever experienced writing, and I really appreciate it. Jeffrey, <laughs> I gotta reiterate, Jess. Thank you for the caffeine and the food. Thank you for the Bristol Farm snacks that are very overpriced but very delicious. <laughs> Thank you for your adorable wife's lasagna and for buying us breakfast. Um, but mostly, thank you for introducing me to this program and for mostly giving me the confidence that I need to think that I can actually do this 
and for telling me that I'm amazing, even when I'm probably less than, and for really pushing me to believe in myself, because I think that, more than anything, is what you need um, in, a, in a world like this, not even just a business like this. So I will forever think of you as launching that for me and making me feel like I could do it. So I love you. And my beautiful family, who has not only inspired so many of my stories and so much of why I have stories to tell, um, but that has been there through everything and is always my rock, my support system, my phone calls about where should I go, what should I do, when I can go home and snuggle with and have through every decision I know that I have undying support in you guys and that's not something to take for granted. Um, my brother's here, it's really exciting, you guys. He's the best person ever. Those of you who know me, everyone knows. Everyone in this room knows you, Gabe, so. <laughs> so thank all of you, really. I'm so excited for the rest of forever, knowing that I have this support system behind me. I love all of you.